Hey butterflies, welcome back to Evolving Butterfly Goddess with me, Mona Cole. Here we are all about evolving out loud in our life, our money, and our purpose through the energy of our ancestors. I want to thank you for your likes, your comments, your shares, and your subscribes here on the channel. It is always appreciated, my love, and a major shout out to all of the channel members here on the channel, as well as the members over on Patreon, as well as on my website. Thank you for your continuous support. Thank you to everyone who has purchased from my tea, my candle shop, any of you all who have purchased my new essential oils, my room sprays. Um, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I really be appreciating and I enjoy making you all's um, items. Like I really be like vibing with the mood set and just it really be good energy going. That's why you don't see me doing a lot of like recording of like my process because I feel like that then takes out the inner, the good energy that goes into doing it. Like, okay, let me make sure I'm recording it in this angle. I've done a few of them and I'm going to be honest, it ain't working for me. I think the best thing that I may be able to do is like maybe just set up my camera and just like record it and I do a voiceover after, you know, and I'm vibing, but I really be in a vibe, like in a good energy and I, yeah, anybody got time to be seeing her holding the camera, showing the process, like... I really be putting some good energy into y'all stuff. But um, I just finished making up some orders and I was about to go to the post office and spirits like, ah, you need to go do this reading. And I'm like, what? And it's an ancestor reading, right? And I'm like, what is this message? There's a recent ancestor that just crossed over, y'all. You have a recent ancestor who just recently crossed over. I'm hearing this is for people whose ancestors who just crossed over is within like the last six months last six months i'll maybe even say a year because i've been feeling a lot of takeoff energy um but strong six months so if it resonates and it was within the past year it's for you too but i'm feeling strong six months um this is giving the energy of someone who was neglected and other people didn't know this person had a caregiver this person had a caregiver and this caregiver was neglecting them but it wasn't really known because i'm getting a vibe of this person wasn't really able to speak it's something about with the ace of coins they were getting money for this person yeah seven to six at the bottom of the reverse because this person was vulnerable they weren't able to protect themselves this is given financial abuse nine of knives yeah <clears throat> and this may even be somebody within the church you know how i mean listen people in the church be scamming too they be all holy 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 and be the main ones out here cheating Cheating on their wives, cheating on their husbands, extra kids. Oh, we're all sinners. No, no. You the devil, okay? We have free will, okay? We have free will. And this is giving the energy of someone who neglected and financially abused someone. And y'all saw I pulled these cards while we were on here. I was just feeling the energy. But with that seven of sticks in the reverse, it's like this person, they didn't have any defenses, they didn't have an ability to protect themselves. And this person, they're, yeah, 10 of baskets. This is a family member. This is a family member. And no one would suspect that this person would do this thing. But you got the judgment at the bottom of the deck and then the, the Gemini energy with the courting. No one would expect, no one would place judgment on this person because it's expected that they're in like this, this type of life contract. So this is definitely a family member energy by blood with this 10 of baskets. But with this higher offense, giving a vibe of this person around other people, they come across as a certain way. And so no one puts judgment on them, right? But this person ain't spiritually right with this eight of baskets um, on the bottom of the deck. Because the eight of baskets is the energy in this deck of like a protection spell. Someone not having access to something being denied access to something. This person was denied something. Son of coins coming out, they saw this as being a bag. Oh my gosh, mother of baskets. I would hate to say that this may be somebody's, a feminine figure. So it could be a lover with this courting energy that came out, or maybe even a parent, or it could be a grandparent, or it could be a sibling, but a feminine energy definitely a family vibe but it's trickery that's going on because this person was very vulnerable and i'm getting this is something that's undetectable something was undetected undetectable y'all know what's crazy i'm thinking about 
I remember seeing this crime show. And this crime show, it was this mama. And it was also this video also that I watched recently on, um, bless Zo 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 Zoe, how you say his name? Um, on his channel, he did a, a movie thing recently, a movie night. And the mother had the child faking like something was wrong with them in order to scam. And then that movie made me think about this true crime thing that I saw where the mother was giving something to the daughter to make her sick, to be wheelchair bound so that she could get sympathy and money. Because in this Ada Baskets energy, he was denied access because he was a deadbeat father. So it could, may even be a toxic father. It may even be a toxic father. But I'm getting a vibe of this ancestor. Oh, they, they haunting somebody right now. Somebody is going through. They haunting them. I, I was feeling it. They are haunting them. They're haunting them. And it's Halloween season. And we're coming up on Dia de Muertos. The Hispanic holiday. The Day of the Dead. When the veil is the thinnest between here and the other side is the day of celebrating your ancestors. This person is close. Their energy is close. This person is like this person even trying to like talk to God a lot now, trying to re repent for some things. And no, you know what you did when you did it. You know what you did when you did it. I'm getting nightmares. I'm feeling nightmares, okay? Nine of Swords energy. You hear me? Warrior Acceptor. Somebody is literally fighting. I'm hearing fighting themselves. Eating themselves up on the inside. Spirit, give me some clear-cut cards. I'll take three. Give me one more, Spirit. You got the devil, the two of swords, and the seven of motherfucking scarabs. <sighs> All somebody, somebody was preoccupied with the life that someone, someone's life, preoccupied with the functions of their life, preoccupied. They had a tough decision, something that they had to deal with, because you got the seven of scarabs, which is a sense of like. You reap what you sow. This person is going to reap what they sow. Let's pull some zodiac signs. This is someone who's very controlling. Now, out here, we had... Um, Taurus and Capricorn, Gemini. Those were the direct signs that came out, but then it was some Virgo out here as well with some Cancer and Libra. Because that's the Ten of Baskets energy. That's Cancer energy. family that's cancer all right we have neptune coming out with pisces gemini coming out sagittarius opposition of sagittarius is gemini jupiter coming out with sagittarius as expansion somebody was doing something as a way to expand expand their wealth and that's that seven of scarabs because I, I was feeling life insurance i ain't gonna lie it was feeling life insurancey okay 
And that's why I stopped myself earlier when I saw the seven of scarabs. I stopped talking. Scorpio coming out. That's that death. And then that judgment energy. Spirit, give me one more. Leo. So she, ooh, sorry ancestors, but it could be whatever. It could be whatever. This person, they're gonna have to do a lot to get, re like, I was about to say seek revenge. So yeah, this ancestor, they ain't trying to cross over. They on this side. So if you know them and you was cool with that ancestor, you need to be working with them, okay? <laughs> you need to be working with them. It'll be very beneficial for you in your life. You hear me? It would be very beneficial. This ancestor trio. I'm hearing payback is a. Okay. King of scepters. Yeah, there is an ego thing. This spirit energy is an ego thing. And they're tormenting somebody. Somebody is literally being tormented at this time. Someone is literally being tormented at this time. Their thoughts, their perception, nightmares, can't sleep. All because of what they did or didn't do. It's giving neglect, okay? The devil is coming out in a whole nother deck, y'all. It's giving, because the devil can also represent drugs and addiction. So somebody could be addicted to drugs. Or something that's like hardcore or they were or they were giving hardcore drugs to someone but this is just also just giving control someone who wanted control over something they had control over something and now I'm visualizing oh my gosh y'all know that episode on um the coven episode on a the the season um on was that American Horror Story and oh the boy didn't want to go back home because of the things that his mama had did to him but nobody knew that those things that happened to him when he was a child and so when he harmed her they didn't realize it was because of payback and this was him oh my gosh cuz he died in that mood in that show he died and he came back to life. And this was his base because when they did the spell work to bring him back to life, this is someone's spirit is literally going to drive someone into the, into the grave. And if you know who they are, I'm hearing do not get involved. If you know who they are, do not get involved. Don't get involved in this. Um, I'm hearing the battle is not yours. It's the Lord's. Don't get involved in this, honey. So with, what's that? If you see me in this, if you see me in you, what's she say? And hey, you try to see what's up. If you see them out here in the streets, be like, what's the name? You don't know me. Okay. Because I feel like this person who acted like this, if you knew them, they probably ain't really treat you all that good anyway, because this person's spirit went right. They, they spirit went right. And anyone who they feel like they will have a hard time controlling. They try to, they try to cause chaos in another way. They try to cause chaos in another way. Not my stomach growling. That's chaos in itself, honey. Okay. That's chaos in itself, honey. You feel this ancestor energy come out? You know they, they coming out to play. I'm getting Freddy Krueger vibes. I ain't gonna lie. This person may even used to like scary movies or they used to like scary stuff. This person is on...
<laughs> I hate to say, like, I don't want to say demon time because, you know, that puts it in a bad manner. But, oh, yeah, they I split the deck. It's first, fifth, first house and fifth house. They have a vendetta. Fifth house is all about passion and drive. Like, when you feel something and want something bad, you're doing it. First house, exalted with the sun. That's ego. Aries energy. And where Aries, I keep forgetting the camera right there. When Aries is... Baby, baby, baby. <laughs> this ancestor is on one. And I mean, can we blame him? Can we really blame him, you know? Child, I say connect with this ancestor, honey. But that was the vibe, my loves. That was the vibe. That was the vibe. If you haven't, um, oh gosh, if you haven't already seen on the um, website or on another video, I do have a sale going on with my Ancestor Message candles at this time. You can get 20% off of all Ancestor Message candles. It'll apply at checkout um, as we get close to Dia de Muertos, the time of honoring our passed over lo um, loved ones and ancestors, which is a Hispanic um, holiday that is celebrated. Um, and it starts on November 1st, which is also the same day as Takeoff Step Anniversary. And so I'll definitely be getting a collective candle together for takeoffs energy. But if you're interested in getting one, feel free to check out the links and things down below. Um, this is the vibes, my loves. And as always, always be real, always be true. Don't be afraid to do what you want to do, period. And as always, may you reap the energy and the good vibes that you have sown this autumn season. Mm. I don't know. I want to come up with like a normal thing that I say for that, but it's just like, shoot, it may change. I like the pumpkin <laughs> for the season. But um, I love you all, and I will see you all later. Bye.